All right, so I have this bottle of wine from Chile that I'm gonna be reviewing today. I can't think of a friggin' thing for the intro, so let's just go straight into the buffer. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. Before we begin today, if you like today's video, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, click the notifications bell if you wanna get notified when more things come out. Enough with the shameless plug, let's get to the review. So today I'm reviewing the Ocho, Ocha, Ocha, there's an A in there, Gavia Gran Reserva Carmen Year. So 2016 from Chile is 13.5% alcohol by volume and I paid $10 for it at my local HEB. So, no screw top, so I put my Anakin's aerator on there, or Anakin. Man, I'm just screwing up all sorts of language and words and stuff today. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. From a color standpoint, medium ruby. I'm gonna give you medium ruby with no artifacts, no cloudiness, everything looks nice. From a nose standpoint, oh, there's, uh, you know how I said it's earthy? This one's pretty earthy. I'm actually concerned it might be too earthy because I'm getting a lot of kind of like wet leaves. I'd like it some ash. I'm getting a lot of heavy earthy notes to this. Wet leaves, ash, a little bit of like a barnyard effect. And now the fruit's coming out a little bit, a little bit of black cherry. A little bit of plum. There's a spiciness to it. Cinnamon, there's a there's 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 a a pronounced alcohol on the nose. And I say pronounced alcohol, but the nose itself is not pronounced. It's like a medium nose with like this, like once you breathe in really heavy, you get like that alcohol and just kind of stings the back of your nostrils, like right up and through the side here and right into here. Yeah, but I mean really it's Black cherry, getting like black plum. Yeah, so for the most part, I'm getting black fruit, black cherry, black plum, a little bit of cinnamon, lots of earthy notes, and some alcohol in the nose. Let's give it a taste and see how it goes. Full body, medium plus acid, medium plus tannins, lots of dark fruit, lots of dark fruit. I'm actually pleasantly surprised by it though because it feels uneven on the nose. Like everything smells like it's just gonna swing one way. On the actual palate aspect of this, it is, is significantly more balanced. There is a lot of that fruit. It hits up front. The earthiness kind of carries in. And then I'm getting this really nice black cherry finish. The, I, I mostly taste plum up front. And then there's this black cherry effect. And it kind of goes into this like earthy, soily slash chalky, um, black cherry finish. I like it, it's slightly smoky too. So, Ochagavia Gran Reserve, oh, got it right on the first one. Yay. Uh, Gran Reserve Carmenere 2016 from Chile. What I'm gonna rate you. I'm gonna rate you a good, and here's why. Your nose doesn't match your palate, in terms of me. On the nose, I was almost a little scared to drink you. I just, I just felt like everything was just gonna be Really soily, really, really soily, no fruit. I was pleasantly surprised. I got a reasonable amount of fruit. And I I feel like that is a big contributor in terms of balance, balance between the nose, balance between the palate. It 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 you just don't you don't have it on that one. So I don't even, I don't even feel like I can give you a full point. Like there's just or even maybe a half point. There's it was just wild swings compared to both of the sensory experiences. You have a decent length, you're probably about a medium finish. Intensity, yeah, probably about half point there. And complexity, you do have some secondary elements that I'm getting, and as well as the primary fruit notes. Not getting really any aging notes other than sort of that kind of wet leaf type effect, um, which quite honestly is a little bit confusing for me because I don't tend to get that in bottles like this. I tend to get that more in something like Pinot Noir like that wet leaf and mushroom type of thing. So I'm, I'm a little bit confused by that. And I'm wondering if it's my palate playing tricks on me tonight, but you're not bad. I'm definitely gonna go downstairs, sit down with the wife, watch some Netflix and enjoy probably the rest of this bottle with her. So I do recommend you go out and try it for yourself and leave a comment below and let me know if I'm just batshit crazy and I'm you, you just really think this thing is amazing. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you like today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. 
Have you had the Ochagavia Carbonier? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and we'll see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime.